Welcome to another video from the Cue Ball Control Cheat Sheets book. The book shows you how to master and own the precise cue ball speeds and spins to get perfect shape on the next shot. This is from group 6, set 9. There are 4 shots in this set. The purpose for each setup is simple, put the one ball into the pocket, then get shape, and make the two. The book shows how to use precise speed and spin, to get shape on the next shot. The book has 12 groups, each with a dozen sets of several shots. Six groups are about getting shape within a half table area. Six groups require full table maneuvering. For the ball positions, you need these donuts. Put one for each ball position in the shot. You can then set up the exact same shot every time. Work on these shots until they become routine. Then, you can try other speeds and spins, to discover what works, and what does not. This is the group 6, set 9, shot 1 layout. To start, you are on the good side of the one ball. The area that the cue ball must travels is limited to the half table area. Stun, off the one ball, rolls the cue ball on the tangent line. With natural roll, the ball goes into, and out of the corner, back into the large comfort zone for the two. In the two ball comfort zone, as shown, you might have to use a mechanical bridge. The comfort zone is pretty large on the two. You can add more speed to push the cue ball further up table. Please note, use practice time to play with the various adjustments that work for this shot. This is the group 6, set 9, shot 2 layout. On this shot, you have to add more speed to the ball. The ball has to travel to the top rail and come back down. To keep the cue ball on the left side of the table, use stun with a medium 2 speed. This moves the cue ball on the tangent line, gets the ball to the head rail, and back down table for an easy shot on the 2. You want to play this shot so that the cue ball comes back down table near the right side center. This ensures the next shot is well within your comfort zone. Please note, it's a good idea to experiment with this shot. For example, a 130 spin will put the cue ball very close to the center of the table area. That would give you a greater angle on the two. This is the group 6, set 9, shot 3 layout. It's generally better to play your shots with the least amount of energy needed. However, in this situation, the shallow angle on the one ball will absorb most of the cue ball power. This does not leave much speed left to get shape on the two. Because of the ball positions, it is impossible to gently roll the cue ball into the two ball comfort zone. The shot requires excessive speed, and the one ball must accurately go into the side pocket. Use 130 spin on the cue ball. There won't be much ball speed when it goes into the short rail. But, with the side spin, the ball will move into the left side of the table for a shot on the two. Please note, take a lot of time to aim the one ball into the center of the side pocket. As with any shooting situation, if you don't make the first ball, perfect shape on the second ball doesn't matter. This is the group 6, set 9, shot 4 layout. Here's another situation where you have to make the cue ball travel a long distance to get shape on the next shot. To get anywhere near the comfort zone for the two ball, the cue ball has to travel all the way up table and back down. The 12 o'clock soft 3 solution is the simplest and easiest solution to make sure you have an easy shot on the two. You should also practice some options on this. Please note, if you apply too much speed, the cue ball will travel outside of the two ball comfort zone. If you need the cue ball near the left long rail, use a 12:30 spin. Experimentation is helpful. Knowing what does not work is just as valuable as knowing what does work. You can buy the PDF book on the Billiard Gods website. If you want a printed book, this is available on Amazon. It is also available in the Kindle format. Please note, the PDF format can be viewed on your smartphone, tablet, and computer. You can study the shots anytime, anywhere. The author has also written these books. The Billiard Gods blog has posts that include excerpts, so you can get an idea of the contents. Good luck. Have fun. And shoot straight.